Facebook find Bigfoot. Minnesota, Ontario, trackway. Three miles of trackway in northern Minnesota. 13 minutes of raw footage plus observations are contained in this video. We have endeavored to keep this under 20 minutes. Uh, so it's a single video. Observed. There's a three mile trackway with between 3,000 and 6,000 prints are estimated on March 10th, 2012. The tracks were likely made three to six days before and had a quarter inch to one inch of light, very light snow on top. Consensus, consensus between the three in the field is that on uh, Saturday and Sunday is the tracks are 17 by eight inches wide. What is learned? Apparently Sasquatch will leave their lair and find a complex system of trees to leave without a trace. Deep snow tracks will sometimes show a triangle lift and twist and sweep pattern that is almost impossible to replicate and it allows them to kind of get through deeper snow. Sasquatch will almost always stop behind a tree. Sasquatch will almost always twist and break small branches along the way, almost impulsively. Sasquatch never leave the thick brush. When they do, their stride increases dramatically. Sasquatch will endeavor to hide their tracks whenever possible. Sasquatch will always steer to a downed tree and then sidestep on the logs. When sidestepping on the logs, their feet will wrap around completely around the log. Sasquatch will always choose to walk through the thickest brush. This Sasquatch lives there year round. Interaction has occurred in all months, or evidence at least has occurred in all months. Okay, so now we're gonna start moving in to the video. The trial is found by doing quite a bit of a legal chainsawing of down trees to get the snowmobiles back in. And so this is a pan shot. It won't let us slow it down. But basically, you'll see that this is the, 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 the creek it went through. And it, it shows the, the, the shortest distance between them. Okay. The, this is an important slide because it shows the triangle pattern. We'll show that a little bit later. Along the way, you'll see that there's hundreds of little breaks that happen. It just takes it and it twists the brakes, like almost like its hand reaches underneath. And, it will, and there's a left twist and there's a right twist. There's one hand print along the way um, like this, but on occasion you'll see the long arms will kind of be in the snow and there'll be this little divot that's on either side of the tracks. So it's like the hand, the left hand, it kind of brushed along and created this little, this little brush mark. Okay, here's part one of the trackway. It's in the... I'm a six foot tall guy. And this is what it takes for me to get through here. This is over my waist, and he's just stepping. I'm, I, I can't even make the step without dragging my feet. Not even close. Up and over, up and over, there's up and over. There's what it takes a human to get through. Up and over, up and over, up and over. In line, perfectly in line, every step. This is the best. Ever. I don't know if anybody's ever seen anything like this. We are miles and miles and miles from anything. Not a soul has been out here probably ever. Holy buckets. Look how far they are. Look how far apart they are through the snow. Nothing drug in the middle. Nothing drug in the middle, no drag. Well, actually there are slight foot marks to be seen, but Jerry did not know what to look for at the time. Now if you look here, you'll see the, the um, you know, it's gone a left foot here and it's going to a right foot. And it's going to deeper snow, it's kind of gone down, and you'll see there's kind of a left to right to left. And there's a zigzag pattern there, okay? And that lift to twist is what's really important. So if you watch this animation, you'll see that there's kind of a, the, the foot kind of comes up, out, it sweeps. So it has an inline step, and that's from the Patterson Gillen film. And we, of course, we saw the Sasquatch in the Georgia. Uh, video with an excited kid and there you'll see the lift and the twist as that foot it's just the foot there wraps around and so there's it, it allows something to walk through brush all the time and so the reason there's an inline step is that you need to do that the brush is so thick in America that they just have to stay on two feet okay okay so then you'll kind of see that now they're following the tracks to where they start. It's about a mile.
Nobody. Anywhere. Zoom on. I mean, there's. I don't know why. All the steps in line. Look at it. Who would. Boom. Boom. Right in front. Follow this one. See what it does. I'm exhausted. Fucking. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. It looks like he follows this branch. I'm gonna see if I can come back around that way. So he goes tight rope across here again. Every time they go across the branch, sideways. I can't even follow these tracks up here. Sideways, see this branch under here? Hope you can see it. Step sideways. Oh, look at this. So here's where I step. The next step, way up there. It can't even, I'm 6'2", I can't even, look at this. Like, that's full stretch. And it was all the way up there. There's not even a chance. I could do that in my wildest dreams. Sideways across the branch. Sideways. Steps sideways. Across the branch. To balance. Oh, look at this. Big toe. Here we go. I can't even move through this. Something's going sideways across the branch. This way. I can't even stay up. This way it's stepping. Look at these toes. Look at these toes. You see those in there? Barefoot out here. A massive. Something just kind of came through here, breaking branches as it went. Trying to see if we can find the outline of a footprint. More stuff. See, it's very similar, this habit of walking on the trees, to the 17-inch tracks found by Rick Knoll in Northern California, where this, they were walking in the deep moss, it, going across. The proportions are the same as the 2009 print, 17 by maybe 7.5 to 8, which is, fits into about that, that scattergram, where it's about a 4.5 to 5.5 width to um, length uh, ratio. Okay, part three. It's where the tracks begin. It just drops out of the trees. What happened here? There's... Something about this log kept them here for a little bit. What they do here? Oh, look at this. What is going on? I hope I can see one up here. I don't know where he went. At this point, Jerry cannot find any more tracks. They just appear out of nowhere. Now we now know where it came. It came from on top of the hill. There's a series of logs that it followed down. See, we came that way. Maybe it just came up to here. Turned around. Maybe it just went back. All right, this here is kind of the pathway back to the top of the hill. Nothing else up there. I don't see any footprints going further. These ones look like they both go this way. Wait, go up into the trees or something? These footprints, they don't point this way. Look at that. Maybe it went up this branch. See where he would have gone. Now the snow is too thick for the older guide to follow, so Jerry now backtracks back to the snowmobiles and goes the other way across, following the other direction. So then get down in here. I'm on these. 
You got a still camera? Don't step on them. Yes. Why would somebody wander back into here? Well, if it's just wandering and moseying. Here's... I don't know what happened here. Oh, look here. Here's one. These are toes. These are huge toes. Big all toes in here. Holy buckets. That one doesn't print. I wonder how far this goes. There's nothing out here. I mean, there's not a building for a hundred miles. Somebody running a trap on or something? See how look at his branch is broken as it goes. They always say that's what they do. We find what's at the end, I guess. Those all look like toes in there. Oh yeah, I mean look at everywhere I step here. Toes. I don't see anything out here. You can't tell me nobody will see the toes there. Just one, one trackway. Nobody else out here. Oh, look at these. <laughs> you want to go back and I'll wait in here? I want to see where it leads. I think it must be going somewhere. Let's see. Oh man, look at that. Look at that toe print. Who is out here? That's what it is. See how they're in line? Here's the big toe there. And you can see the left foot. Right foot, big toe, walking in line. Right, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. I don't know what happened here. Tripped on that. Oh, look at how he goes sideways. You just see how, how you see how the heel prints are too old. Just wandering around. Like every time it comes across a stick, it seems to walk across them. 
on the stick. I mean, look at this. Steps sideways. Every stick goes across them. Look at that. Steps sideways. What the heck? I'm getting tired. Oh, there you go. Look at this, okay. This is what I've been talking about. There's a branch under here. Look at this one. Look at that. Let me see. You see those toes in there? Where they were? You see where they were? I'm still going. There's just nothing. They follow the branches. Right in there. I can keep on seeing where this stops so people can see. I can get this out of the shadows. The toes. And every step. This one's probably pretty good. Look around, see if anything. I, I don't think if even if one was watching me, I'm not gonna be able to see it. I had a pretty good camera too. But... Toes, toes. Now we believe it. It took this natural depression right here, and it sat down and hunkered down and looked around. And there's a handprint to the left-hand side here. in here. Maybe it's all the way over watching me. Let's see. Let's see. Right. I don't see anything. Tough, tough you think to keep that thing still when it's zoomed. I think, I feel like I'm losing the prints. We go up into here. They're not down there on the lake. I don't think. I must go into here. Get this into the sun here. I don't see him. I don't see where they went. I lost the snow on the sun. It's a bit of a trail, game trail. Maybe they probably just follow this. And Jerry loses the trail and runs out of time. Observations. Sasquatch have a human-like intelligence pre-planning its moves in advance. Even though gorillas can hide incredibly well, this takes it to a whole nother level. It's done on an individual basis. It is almost assuredly a very close relative of humanity. Sasquatch can walk sideways, tightrope, small steps, big steps, any way it would like. And this Sasquatch has chosen an area that is the most distant of any spot in Minnesota or Ontario. They hide all the time. They are actively hiding their footprints and, and their winter lair. They are 100 times as strategic as modern humans and probably 100 times less social. Nobody goes to this spot. Since it has never been logged, it's likely that no human has ever been to this spot in winter or summer. Yet still, it concealed its location and footprints. Amazing. Facebook, find Bigfoot.